Hey, let's change out a seat for a mountain bike to make it more comfortable. Some quick and easy steps for making a mountain bike a little bit more comfortable. In our last video, we increased the height of the handlebars, put on some comfort grips. Now it's time to put on a new seat. So I got the uh, WTB comfort seat, mountain biking seat, just a little bit wider, a little bit more cushion. Again, this bike is for my sister. Kind of trying to make it more comfortable for a good, reliable Trek 4500. A little bit older, was more aggressive seating position when originally sold. That was a style back then. But um, fundamentally, a fantastic bike. Very lightweight, good um, drivetrain on this. So let's get into the steps for swapping out the seat really fast. And I'll show you some tricks to make it a little bit easier as well. Okay. Oh, hey, let's do a little B-roll clip of me climbing up a little local hill. So I'm going to get ready to do a series on um, Michigan trails. I'm going to just do some spotlights, you know, parking, bathrooms, key features of the trails, links. Um, also include some links for where you can get maps and other good things. So that is coming up. We're probably going to start out with it's called DTE Foundation Trail. It's going to be my first one. Look for that in another week, okay? <laughs> I'm going to get my own bones down here on the ground. So what tools do you need? Um, I'm using my uh, just my multi-tool, the Crank Brothers. M19 I've talked about. I'll put a link down below plus a little review. This guy is like old and worn. Loved. I like to use the word loved. So what this has is uh, you know great for carrying on your bark bike. Um, if you'll notice reflectors in the way right so let's jump in here. We need a Phillips right and then the other one I believe it's a six millimeter for the bolt underneath the seat. So let's move our reflector out of the way. Here's a little hack, right? You'll see this gap here. A great way to um, knock myself out there. So I loosen that up just a little bit to remember where you set the height of your seat Put your reflector right down at that clamp. You can always adjust it, but now you've got it locked in where you like the seat position. So I'm gonna probably test ride this in a bit and raise the seat, but by putting the clamp, the reflector clamp right down on the, the seat post clamp, um, I'll know where to come back to. Okay, so this is just a plastic fitting. Don't over tighten it, right? No reason to. You just want to keep it in place so it doesn't move. Let's get our hex at the six. Don't fully remove this bolt. So there's a plate on top and then the clamp underneath, right? What you're going to do is loosen that enough to get some room and instead of taking it all apart because it's a you know like a three-piece assembly there's actually a piece in there to make a turn we're going to loosen it and then um let me show you the rails on the seat the rails on the seat so we're going to loosen it enough to be able to slide it over hook one side in and then try to slide it as much as we can and then slide the other side into it. So we'll move the camera around to see that angle once we get there. But let's start by loosening up our bolt here. Always make sure you got it 
you know, set well into the uh, bolt, your wrench. Trying to do this fast, so. Because that's what I said I was going to do at the beginning of the video. But swapping out a seat, huge comfort thing. If you think about the two or three things that your body is touching, handlebar, seat, pedals, those items in that order are how you can increase the fit, increase the comfort. And like I've said over and over, the comfort on a bike is what allows you to loosen, right? So that plate, let me get you moved and re. Uh, <coughs> All right, so we got our clamp loose. Not quite enough, so let's just go a little bit more. His finger tight, right? I don't want to take it all apart. It's so tough to get this thing put back together once you, if you get it apart. So the idea is you loosen it up enough, keep it on, but you're gonna see how I shifted that over to the side. If you shift it over the side, you can take it out. Let's back that up, put one side in, all the way over, right? All the way over and drop it in right all right let's swap out our seat let me show you what this bolt looks like up above so you get a chance to understand what i'm talking about you can see how this square nut this square nut Trying to get that fed in there with your fingers, with the assembly, can just be a pain. So just loosen it up enough to get that seat off and swing it over. All right. Now, up. All right. All the way, slide it over, in, over, and on. We are almost there. Um, I'm going to finger tighten this and then we'll get into adjusting, at least for a starting point. The big thing I'll need to do is get with my sister and adjust this some more. Fast and easy. doing this real quick before I go to work. I'm gonna meet up with my sister later today. Give her her bike back. Okay, not real, oops, I'm lose it just a tad. Again, I'm gonna have the links to my tool, multi-tool. All right, so let me raise this guy up. All right, next step right, is you're going to see, now I try to position as best, actually low. A good starting point, at least in my mind, for setting the angle, right, is point it at the stem. I got to loosen this just a little bit more. Point it at the stem. It's a good starting point. So I raised that tip up just a little bit. Now, you can get into some fine, you know, finite adjustments. If you're gonna see here, you can get it to focus. But you can actually slide the seat forward and back to change the fit as well. I'm gonna set it about in the middle Right, and uh, tighten it down. All right. We 
have swapped out the seat. Like I said, we aligned the nose to the stem. We'll do some fine adjustments once I get with my sister. And now we've got a bike, mountain bike, a little bit more comfortable. My sister's a little bit older. I'm not gonna say how old, but she's a little bit younger than me and I'm in my upper 50s so thanks stay tuned to diy mountain bike got more good stuff and if you can subscribe it really helps out i'm 